and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later over there for some Golgari Citadel. This is a donation deck. That's what the D D stands for. So this was a you a viewer submitted deck for us to try out. Uh, we are a Golgari, of course, is green and black Citadel Bolus's Citadel deck here. So we're going to be trying to use our Explore package with. 12 explore creatures to go with the four wild growth walkers as you see we, how we have the seeker squires there as well plus even path of discovery to turn all of our creatures into explore creatures uh, have those combine with bolus citadel where we can play the cards off the top of our deck um, this deck can go pretty crazy you know like experimental frenzy you need to like once you hit like your second land basically with experimental frenzy you're done with this deck you can just kind of you can go really really far because every time you play an explore creature or like whenever your creatures are exploring like if you play that off the top if your next cards are lands you just get to draw those lands and then hopefully find another spell another explore creature and keep on going uh, so we do have like a, a combo here in our deck so you know not only are we trying to just cast like you know just rifle through our deck and like cast our whole deck basically but whenever we do that we have the torgar famine incarnate which that's a really sweet moniker. I don't know if moniker is the correct word, but whatever, that's a nice title. Um, we have Torgar, Famine Incarnate that uh, we get to play. Set our opponent's life total to 10 whenever this enters the battlefield. And then after their life total is 10, then we can sac we can tap the Citadel, sacrifice 10 non-land permanents and make them lose 10 life. So we can just kill them in the same turn there so that's our that's our combo here um yeah find finality does seem like it could be a pretty nice card here if we have like wild growth walkers die to be able to to grab those again um but we don't have any but that could be something that could be useful uh somewhere there it's a good card to, th to think about um but yeah that's that's our main combo that's what we're going to be trying to do let's see how well it works see if we get to pull it off Ah, moniker was correct. Awesome. All right, we're going to head on over to the traditional constructed queue like we always do with donation decks, where we can play it through this league, see if we can win five matches before we lose two, and see how it goes. So ideally, Torgar gets played when Citadel is ready to activate, so you can kill them before they can react. The five percenter for life. All right, all we need is one of our twelve explore creatures. Not, you know, we got the extra explore creatures in here with the seeker squires as well. Yeah, your the aristocrats deck next has some combo potential. Yeah, so you have like Bantu and what's the name of the other card? Mayhem Devil. That's the card I was thinking of. Bantu, Mayhem Devil. So this is a do nothing hand. We're playing one threes and Killing something. We got one threes. What's up, Heathums? Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub there. Really do appreciate that. Heathums knows how good one threes are. Look at that. We killed something. Attack for one. Mark it down. 19. Opponent needs to watch out. Thanks, Tyro. Are 
Are they going to take it? Wow. Mark that down. They are at 18 now. Whew. We are almost... We are almost there. This game's almost over. And we have two one threes. Oh, no, they have the one four. All right, well, one fours are pretty big. Pretty big. <laughs> Time to scoop. <laughs> oh, you never seen anybody play Tetsamok in Constructed? I played some Tetsamok. Not very much, though. Not very much at all. That card be, could be kind of nice with... Um, I don't know, could that be nice with, like, Tamio? You get it back from your graveyard, do it, like, in the late game. Hmm. Maybe, maybe a little Teferi, you bounce it. After you already played it, you bounce it back to your hand. Oh, yeah, Ilharg. That's the card. Ilharg. That's the one. Yeah, that's definitely it. All right, hopefully we get to resolve Bolas' Citadel next turn. All right, like seeing that. Love seeing that. All right, come on, explore creatures off the top. Not off our, not off our draw step, but after that. All right, here we go. Explore. Uh, fine. Kill that thing. Alright, kill... That thing. Alright, good enough Good enough for this turn. We got the Citadel set up for next turn, plus we killed both of their threats. Not a bad turn. Plus, next turn... Uh, you know, we could have like Vivian be able to reset the library when if we run out. Our next turn is going to be busted. As long as our opponent doesn't scoop. That's all I'm hoping for is opponents not scooping. Or having like a random Angrass Rampage that kills my Citadel. Alright, uh... It's not going to work too well for us. Hmm. Yeah, Torgar's not great here. I think I may just reset with Vivian. wasn't meant to be contained. The wilds are my shield. Ugh. That was the problem with the reset. If we whiffed and it, and if we didn't find any of our eight two mana explore creatures and then if we whiffed also. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, that that was a that was honestly as bad as that that turn could possibly go for us. Whenever we were starting it, that was that's the worst it could possibly go. Non-land permanence. We cannot sacrifice lands. Non land, that's impossible. Yeah. Well, it can sacrifice itself. So, like, right now we have six. We only need four more. Now here's the turn. Dive down your Drake. Dive down, dive down. Here's the turn. And now, come on, opponent, let us keep doing this. There you go. Oh, man. All right, found all of our two-man explore creatures. Sword tooth. Play an extra land? No. We were going to play so many cards. No. Um Bloodfast? I don't know. You have to spend mana on the Bloodfast activation though. I've always liked to Doom Whisper in the citadel deck because doom whisper you just pay two life to surveil so you can get rid of extra lands and everything and keep on going all right so they're playing drakes we can get some cast downs some cruelties some troops Because yeah, Citadel says that you just pay you pay life instead of paying like you pay life of the mana cost instead of paying mana. So like the card costs two mana, so we just pay two life to cast it. But then you know whenever the wild growth then whenever you explore with wild growth walkers, you gain a bunch of life back. So you just you're actually just gaining you're just netting life, and you just get to keep doing that. I'm going to cut sword tooth, the Torgar. I kind of think I want to cut trophies with bringing in all the other removal. I don't think we need trophy as much. <laughs> yeah, a Doom Whisperer could be a pretty sweet add in here I mean we were already going to be able to basically go infinite there or like really close if not because we still had like we still had another land drop because the sword tooth and then like the next time we whiffed we would have the jade light ranger and then the next time we would whiff we would be able to tick up the <clears throat> vivian and then like the next time after that we'd be able to play whatever explore creature we ticked up and found with vivian 
Oh no, definitely not cut Viv. This this is like Vivian's dream matchup. You know, like they're playing a bunch of expensive flyers. This is like the perfect Vivian matchup. Command the Dread Horde. Uh, this isn't. Yeah, we're not really trying to um, put a bunch of stuff in the graveyard. I could. I, I think Command the Dread Horde could be a good sideboard card against removal heavy decks that like kill all of our creatures all the time. You know, decks that are using sweepers and stuff, they're like killing our creatures, and then we can command them all back. Um, I think that could be a, a nice sideboard card there. Nice. Assembled the Spark Double Shalai. And then attacked me with two Mayhem Devils and a Judith. And so you killed their whole board, leaving me on one. And they had to just use all the triggers on themselves. <laughs> Lava Coil is, of course, worst card for us to see. I had the backup Wild Growth Walker, though. They didn't hit a land drop, and, I mean, frankly, neither did I. But I don't... I, like, with having two, I was willing to, like, send one out to kind of test the waters. Uh, but now this is our last one. I don't want them to have another coil. Also, with them not having playing lands, maybe they have to go to discard? Which would be weird, but maybe. All right. I wanted to see if we could draw the the swamp and get the chupacabra in play. Got to diamond today, but I had 11 games against mono red out of 15. Wow. That is a lot. Were you playing best of one hex bomb? I like my mono red matchup. Oh, so you were playing best. You were playing best of one. Okay. Um, well, then in that case, best of one, you probably just want to play like Esper, like Esper control, like focused on like Dovin's acuity, which gains like a lot of life and a bunch of instants. You can keep on putting the Dovin's acuity back in your hand. You know, just a bunch of moment of cravings and, um, you know, mortifies. Of course, all the mortifies to kill frenzies and, yeah. Like all that kind of stuff, um, you know. Enter the God Eternals. You can even get in there. Yeah, revitalize definitely. Othakaya. Well, hopefully no more Lava Coils. But I wanted to play the Branch Walker here to look for land with the five, five, and six mana cards in our hand. There we go. Remorseful Cleric in Arcbow against Dreadhorde. Just like, is that actually just going to, like... I guess... So I guess you act... Yeah, I guess that could work. I guess that could work. I just see it not actually working more than it does. Yeah, yeah, you could hit it off an arc bow, so it'd give you like basically more frilled mystics. Give give you another frilled mystic basically.
I'm going to get this Wild Growth Walker out of Lava Coil range and use the cast down also. Um, let me do two things. Plus, this lets, allows us to attack with the Wild Growth Walker through Augur Bolas as well. Yeah, it definitely, definitely feels like they have Dive Down or something like that. Certainly have some kind of instant. But the fact that it's like something that that's that they're responding to, even like right now, kind of feels like maybe an instant speed burn spell. Maybe dive down. Is there for the tier three sub for twenty five months and saying here's to twenty five more. Wow, thank you so much, Zerf. Zerf, were you thinking the dinosaurs were going to win the NBA Finals the other night? Like, last night? In that fourth quarter? I thought they were. Whenever they were up six with, like, two and a half to go. Yeah. What? It was such a great game. Yeah, I thought so too. Man, I saw I saw Kevin Durant's injury in uh in like slow mo. They showed that and like showed his Achilles popping. Oh man, it looked really bad. Yeah, that that might that certainly could be the, the turning point of the series. Um the thing that I, I really didn't get, so they were, uh, they were up, yeah, so they were up six with like two and a half minutes left, and they had all the momentum. It was when when Kawhi scored his 10 straight points. I think it was 10. Like, he just scored a ton of points in a row. And then Toronto took a timeout. It was like basically they like took a timeout to regather themselves, but they had all the moment, momentum. They had the ball. Everything was going good for them up six with the ball and they took that time out and I was like no what are you doing taking that time out and then after that uh, you know Golden State went on like a 9-0 run it was an automated one but I mean they, they charged the Raptors with a timeout I don't think it was just a, a TV timeout Oh, Sway, I understand being real nervous for that. So, okay, so it was, a, it was a forced TV timeout. Huh. That's weird. I don't know all the rules of the NBA, so I didn't, I didn't know about that rule. They're not going to have two spell pierces, right? Let's dive down. And our opponent's playing really slow. Okay. Well, we got we got another one. Hey, Ian Ray. Glad you're here live. He thought they needed the rest. Was... They did look... I mean, the game was just kind of going crazy everything at that point, but everything was going beginning. right for him. Mm -hmm. 
Oh yeah, that call on Cousins, man, that was that was so close. The, uh, you know, whether it was the ball was over the cylinder or not, that was such a close call. Stop. Doing good, Sinister Decay. Doing good. Ha. I've seen worse. I think the call made sense, honestly. I I think it it was like re it really was hard to tell whether or not that ball was over the cylinder. I think just keeping it what it was on the floor made a lot of sense. I'm glad our opponent wasn't attacking with the Enigma Drake there. I don't really know why they weren't. But I like... You know, I'm glad they didn't. Like... Like, why not attack with the Drake and keep the Terramander back? It's so much harder. There's the land. We were due. We were due for the land eventually. And here we go. Ah, three straight lands after that, but that's alright. Um... No attacks. <laughs> yeah, Ritual of Sit would just be golden right now. It would, it would take out all eight of these creatures. They all cost three or less. Even if they're some 5-5 five, five and 11-4 flyers and 8-10s that have gained 21 life. Just attack there. There you go. Good. Don't attack with the 12 power creature. You don't want to do that. Alright. Choops. We'll pick up this land. Keep exploring. Ah. That's enough exploring for today. I mean, if Citadel wasn't legendary, it wouldn't really help you having two Citadels in play. It makes sense it's legendary, though, right? It's like the one Citadel. It makes sense. Man, such a land pa patch now. All we had to do is get to that six land, and then it's like, here's 40 lands, and we're like, whoa, whoa, we just wanted to like get to that sixth one, you know? We'll it's been like eight lands and ten cards since then. Oh, actually, I never even started the book yet. I never did. How are you liking it? Talking about the War of the Spark book. All right, want to know? Yeah, I did cite out all the dinos. No, never started Chernobyl. I 
I've heard like people heard people talking about it and everything and but no, I don't think that that won't be a show I'll watch. Hey, what's up, Mike? 33 month resub? I've been partnered for 33 months. Dang. That's so many months. Thank you there, Mike. Been here since the beginning. I did, Yager. I got the laptop that you recommended. It should be here in the mail tomorrow. Again, Swamp. I'll keep this. Yeah, I no, I yeah. Chernobyl is, yeah, a real scary show, because, yeah, it was real, and, uh, I, you know, they, they, they talk about how they show, like, what, like, radiation does to the body and everything, and I, I, I don't want to watch, I have, I'm squeamish, I, I can't watch that. All right, so Esper Walkers. Let's get some big creatures over here. Explorer. Graveyard. Wild Growth Walker exploring for itself is kind of broken. Binding. Now that's just plain rude. So if I go Vivian minus to kill the bind to destroy the binding, I the good news is I would have a Vivian in play, but the bad news is if they just have any creature removal, then they get to kill my Vivian. It may be safer to choop. I think there's like a car here. Yeah, it's definitely a car. Uh, yeah, I could trophy. They get like a, a land and stuff. Cool, that works out. Now, I'd, r I'd rather save the trophy for a Teferi, like a, a big Teferi, or that thing. Yeah, I want to trophy that thing. Has a nice ring to it. Uh, two colorless and a green and a black. Hmm. Never mind. Can't trophy that. Never hurt anyone. No, don't don't auto Well, if I just didn't auto <laughs> I didn't mean to. I tried to try to switch. So then I still would have uh, so I could have trophied that binding and got back the wow growth walker at end step and been able to attack the Liliana. I guess our top card would have been a land though, so it would have made the the wild growth walker would have only been a 1/3. Hey, good night, Lucaro. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, I guess I am still just going to have to trophy this Liliana, right? I think I can wait a turn. 
they just tick up and get a creature. Would you like to see what's left of Skull? Draw and let's do this again. Oh yeah, no, it would have been a two four because yeah, it still gets because it explores, it still gets the counter. So yeah, I would have killed Liliana. Right. Smelly, but effective. So yeah, end step trophying the binding would have let me kill the Liliana. Oh well, we'll see how we can do here. I mean, I, I still like where we are right now. Like we, we're still in a great spot. The past, present, and future meditate and prepare. We'll see what they get. Um, yeah, Wild Growth Walker gets a counter for because it explores. And then it also gets the counter for saying whenever you explore, you put a counter on Wildworth Walker. So that's why I got two counters. Not bad. I was not prepared. Ruins. Well, good thing they've already activated Liliana. They don't get activated again. Seriously? A Dovin's Veto? Come on. Ugh. Alright, well, I, I messed this whole game up by, by hitting the pass through turn when I was just trying to pass through like all those things. I wanted it to stop at end step and I didn't didn't click fast enough. And so I didn't get to trophy. And I didn't get to kill the Liliana. I kept the Citadel because maybe they wouldn't minus nine the Liliana. Maybe they would minus four it. Yeah, I'm sure Bola Citadel and Command the Dread Horde would still be viable after Wild Growth Walker rotates out. I mean, we see these Esper decks playing Command the Dread Horde. They don't have Wild Growth Walker. But yeah, this is the kind of matchup where our own Command the Dread Hordes could be kind of nice. I guess we have Casualties of War. That's pretty expensive, though. Definitely want Elder Spell. Take out Choop, get this trophy in. Take out those. <laughs> I, I could win that one <laughs> when I have one land and nothing else and they have an active as Kanta and a million lands and everything yeah death sprout could work here that's true the problem with death sprout especially game one is that if your opponent has no creatures and you're and you have your citadel going then it just gets stuck on on top but then again, you you do have Citadel going in that scenario. Yeah, I think I think Command the Dread Horde would be better than Casualties of War in the sideboard. I think they're basically for the same matchup, but I think Command the Dread Horde is a much 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 more impactful card. It's basically the most impactful card. 
Cool. All right, let's draw Vivian. Or Citadel. Or another land. I can no longer stand by and watch. This might um. be a bad idea. No, no other changes immediately. I would, yeah. I mean, I think I think a Doom Whisper instead of one of the three sword tooths. I'm not super big on the sword tooths, but I think a, a Doom Whisper would be better there. Well, casualties of war is perfect here. Whenever the opponent mulligans to like four or five or whatever they mulligans to. Only time will tell. Right, well, that's what I'm saying. Uh, Doom Whisper, I think, does a lot better job of getting through lands with Citadel. Because you just, you just pay two life and you just surveil two. And so you not only can get through lands, but you can get through other Citadels. You know, like if you hit like a second Citadel where you don't want to pay the six life to get rid of a Citadel, you can pay the two life to get rid of it. Kind of thing like that. Yeah, I think, I think putting in a Doom Whisper instead of a Sword Tooth there. Would help a lot. Yeah, and it's just a, a huge body that can win games. It's a card, you know, it's still a card that you hit with Vivian's tick up. And it also, the other thing is it helps you find Citadel, right? Like, let's say you just play it on, um, you just play it on like turn, uh, turn five and you don't have Citadel, but you have like a lot of lands like this. You know, Doom Whisper would just go through your deck and find Citadel for you. Is it even worth it? I think I would play two. Whispers, that is. Yeah, whenever there's rotation, we lose all of the, um, we lose all of these buddy lands.
<laughs> yeah, command's pretty OP. I have practiced against men. I have just the trick for this. This isn't a fight. You've no time for a break. my limit so many lands why not trophy the Teferi because on tap lands because I want to get Dovin's veto out of their hand I thought it was very likely that they had Dovin's veto which they did, and I wanted to get that out of their hand. So I wanted to trade my trophy for the Dovin's Veto where, to try to <clears throat> unlock a card like Citadel. I didn't think from hell to lose to you. I guess I am at three. Hmm. I didn't really pay attention to that. No one knows the wilds like I do. All right, I guess I shouldn't have paid the three life with the Jade Light. Dead yet. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, we need a Wild Growth Walker. Well, they are at two, so we can try to kill them. Hey, what's up, Alder2? Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. Alright. The old 2 to 1 there. We found the Bolas of Citadel right in time. Right in time. Could not wait any longer. Now, worked out perfectly. Exactly what we were trying to do the whole time. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Alder2. Glad, I'm glad for the support. Alright, time to walk. Wow, growth style. So, in case of Kaya's Wrath here, I wanted, like, I liked just getting the sword tooth out of the hand, getting, letting it get the value that it can. 
But this is where we draw Vivian. We can play Vivian on turn four. Alright, we need to hit a land so we can turn on the sword tooth. Land. That's a tough one. Once the, I guess once the, you know, once our creature died anyway, we weren't going to be able to turn on Sword Tooth anyway. I train every day. Problem is if I keep Elder Spell and then my opponent casts like the Kaya's Wrath and I am uh, quite dead because then I don't have anything. Wow. Harder. That's rude. Yeah, we need we need gas. I agree. What a brutal spell pierce. This game didn't go according to plan. And Teferi's just a perfect draw there. Oh, I, I would activate it as Kanta 100% if I was my opponent. Because, yeah, you get to play the Teferi and redraw well, and I've activate as Kanta. Elolan, good evening. Well, they just drew command the dread horde. They don't. That's really nice. The focused and disciplined. But as you can see from this right here, this is why we should have command the dread hordes in our sideboard. Because, you yeah, know, we're at 26. We can just take a lot of things. Oh, and they have a... And <laughs> they have a counterspell, too. Why not? Just, they just have a counterspell, too. Must be nice. All right, so our only hope. No, we don't have a hope because they have three wild growth walkers. Keep an open mind. Do we? If I top deck another citadel, Let's try this. and then the next card is wild growth walker, and then it's a whole bunch of explore Trust creatures after that. You'll thank me later. But we need to hit. We need to hit exactly citadel, and then in, and our fourth wild growth walker. It's our only chance.
what? I know eighty-eight ways to get meditation. All right, so even if I draw a citadel, so I guess it has to be. We're taking eight here, so we're going to five. So it has to be citadel, and then wow growth, and then a two mana explorer. Okay, that's not it. Well, that was an unfortunate game. But I think I could have won the game one. That was the one that I think I could have won. That, the, the Spell Pierce and then Dovin's Veto for the last two cards in their hand. That was backbreaking. Is this Esper again? Yep. I'm going to be casting the Cruelty here to take care of the hero. See if we can have this Vivian do a lot for us. Sword is not a bad draw. Hey, that was uncalled for. Not bad. Ugh. I'll protect you. <laughs> A poor little one, too. This thing goes is up to you, pal. So JR, like you know, helps set up the next draw step or helps us find the citadel, right? Like that's that's the card that we just want to find is citadel. JR does that. Of course, you should always activate Vivian before playing your explore creature. Right, because you don't want to like ex no, play Jade Light first, explore um, to the point where you find Citadel, you put it on top, and then you just can't even activate your Vivian anymore because you have a Citadel on top of your deck. are lessons written in skin. You can't stop nature. Hmm.
Yeah, I mean, Command the Dreadhorde's not going to disappear with no Explore package. Like, look at these decks that we're playing against Esper decks right now with Command the Dreadhorde. Like, that, they don't have Explore don't creatures I got this. in them. And they're playing Command the Dreadhorde. So why would it go away when Explore rotates when these decks that don't have, a, they, they don't have Wild Growth Walker are playing it? Doesn't make doesn't make sense. Like they're playing a main deck. Like we've been I've been playing Esper decks last few days that that have a main deck. Come to me. Rotation is at the end of September. Whenever the fall sets release, like whenever the fall sets release, there, which is usually like the end of September ish. I've got time. I'm known for my excellent timing. You need to slow down. Thing usually costs eight. This is uh, Hawkeye, is the name of the cat. And Cool, all the two, yeah. No, no, I don't think it would make sense to consider Simic Ascendancy as an alternate win con. Simic Ascendancy is, is not only a pretty weak card, like really hard to turn on, it's also very, very vulnerable to all these Teferis that get rid of enchantments efficiently. It's just not worth it to play that card at all. Oh yeah, Hawkeye is the bestest of kitties. That's really annoying. The thought erasure in your draw step. That's really annoying. spot hurry let's try this yeah we're in a rough spot yeah they have Teferi Hero Dominaria and Torturous Kanta those cards are hard to beat. And they have three cards in hand. It 
it's only a matter of time. I don't I don't think we beat Ascanta with like these don't these don't beat Ascanta. And I mean they have the little Teferi also just to annoy us. You know, we we're in a really rough spot. I have just the trick for this. <clears throat> Blue cards are pretty broken. I mean, we need to draw bullets to Citadel, right? Like that, like like always. Like that's the card we need to draw. I'm definitely glad they're using the Dispark here. We need to draw bullets to Citadel. But we smartly are waiting a turn. <laughs> yeah. We drew a, a citadel, right? It's it's right there. There's a citadel in there. I've got time. I think we get to just do it again. won't hide from the world. Let's skip to the good part. Ugh. I mean, the good the good news is we have a card like Bolas of Citadel that's in the deck that can win the... Uh, that could, like, win the game for us still. But the bad news is we have to sit here getting demolished for a long time. Man, imagine if we had Command the Dread Horde right now. Though, I mean, obviously we'd have to like draw it and then be able to play it, but we'd be able to get back three wild growth, or sorry, three jade lights and two wild growths. You know what? I'm not done yet. The other thing I think that this deck needs is Field I'll of Ruins, because Field of Ruin resets a citadel, and these Ascantas have really been killing us. It'd be really nice to have Field of Ruins for these Ascantas. Alright, so Trophy, Casualties, Elder Spell, these out. I'm just taking Torgar out instead of a, instead of the three mana five five this time. Keeping Wild Growth Walker is kind of risky because maybe we don't hit land drops. But hopefully one of the next two cards is a land. Okay. Good. Gotta keep on doing that. Gotta keep on hitting these land drops. Okay, I just wanted to get all the pets in right now. Be 
This isn't a fight you can win. This might be a bad idea. You have a plan. This is a beating. Come on, draw land. Dang it. I want to play Path of Discovery this turn, but I also want to get to like these six drops. Right, so. I think it's better just to play the Llanowar Elf to try to play a 6-drop next turn. That would have been a great time to land a 6-drop. Especially Casualties of War would have been perfect there, honestly. Would have killed the Hero, the Teferi, the Othakaya, and one of these lands. No, I am would have been perfect. Come on. Ah. We've explored so many times too, just trying to get lands. We've tried so hard. So we've seen 10 card, like, you know, we started with 50, you know, we started with the six card hand, so 54. So, like, those 10 cards, we only saw two lands. What a beating. All right, we're finally getting there. Probably way too late, though. Let's slow this down. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Our Citadel would have been in incredible. We would have hit Jade Light into Path of Discovery. <sighs> I've got it. My prowess put thoughtfulness before action. I don't know why they're not draw stepping that. <sighs> oh yeah, I mean, even when if we would play the Citadel now, yeah, you're right. Then we're just gonna hit all of our lands now because we've just gotten rid of all these spells to look for lands. So we're just gonna 
Like even if we would play a citadel, it's just all lands. I'm I'm done with this. Can't do this anymore. That was a miserable experience there. Wasn't like the wasn't like our deck's fault. I mean, well, like we just didn't get to the six mana, but just just playing against Esper. Like sometimes Esper just just grinds you out so hard like that with the with like those Teferi's and Oaths and Hero Precinct One just going crazy. Like our opponent's hand was just like perfect with the turn two, you know, like was just going history into Teferi into Oath and all that kind of stuff, and we just could not catch a break. Ugh. No, it wasn't a, yeah. So what I would what I would recommend doing as we talked about. So two command the dread hordes over here. Instead of these casualties of war, the casualties of war were were kind of cool, honestly. Um, get some doom whispers in here. Because this card, like how we were like having trouble with our draws, like this card just fixes it all. You know, do we have too many lands? Well, you just go get rid of all your lands and and tell you find Citadel, and then you just play Citadel next. Do you, you know, do you need lands? Well, you just ditch spells and find your land and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, Torgar is too cute. I don't, I don't think this is a good plan whatsoever. I wouldn't I wouldn't play that card at all. I, it's just it is just too cute. Um, I did like Trophy. Kind of overall, I would want. I want more. Oh, maybe. I guess find finality. I think just getting getting back these things that die, or even against aggro, get the minus four minus four. Or like if if we, because you know, like we, when we explore a lot of things over, like it's possible that we, like we have to explore like wild growth walkers to the graveyard to like hit land drops, and then we can't get them back, kind of thing. So find being able to get stuff back. Um, no, I wouldn't play death sprout. I kind of want to play a third Vivian, but no, maybe just two finds. Yeah, I like Find Finality quite a bit. All right, and then if we play two Field of Ruin, um, means that if we if we have two Field of Ruin. Then we have 26. Oh, wait, because we have 26 because I put all these lands in here. Okay. Then uh, I think I'd probably play two guild gates just to kind of play it safe with mana wise. Because, like, with these explore creatures, you can usually find a turn to put a tapped creature in or a tapped land in. I don't think that that's too much of a problem. But just to make sure, because because you know you do need three black sources for Citadel, and obviously you want all this early uh, black mana or sorry green mana. I do like Bond of Flourishing, but I don't. I think to play Bond of Flourishing, you're getting rid of like Path of Discovery, and I think the Path of Discoveries could could do some good work there. I like those cards. I like those. Um. I honestly could see playing. I could honestly just pl see playing a Mortal Sun instead of Vivian, to be honest. I could see playing a Mortal Sun in here. Yeah, that that was the next thing. Yeah, I, I would want four mana Vraska. Four mana Vraska is very good. I was actually just just thinking about that card. Also, that's the thing. If we keep Vivian, yeah, because four like as we saw like all those three mana planeswalkers over in Esper, and uh, and everything, and sacrifice. You know, you'll have like your extra explore creatures. You could just like sacrifice one of the explore creatures to draw another card to to dig deeper and everything like that. Um,
Moral of the Folly is a good card. I don't know if you need another... Do we want another tap land, though? I do like Little Vraska, though, a whole lot. There's just so many three mana planeswalkers. And, like, Search for Escanta. But then it also helps us dig. A lot of small creatures. You know, this can, like, kill Krasis, all that kind of stuff. This could this may be a better card than Omnixilis' Cruelty. That does lower or that does raise our curve though. Again. It's possible this is better than Path of Discovery. Hey, Crazy Pyro, welcome back. Cruelty is good against Phoenixes. That's a good point. It is very good against Phoenixes. Phoenix is a small part of the metagame, you know, it's like under 5%. I don't I don't know if we need like the main deck card for that specifically. I do think this deck should have a 24th land. You know, we saw how we were getting, like, stuck on lands a lot. Like, I think this deck should, could use 24 lands. Because we have to, you have to get to 6 mana. And I think with with adding in Doom Whispers now, that also, you know, that also just ups the curve. Um, where, like, once, you know, once you get to that. But you, you do need to get there. So I do think we need, want 24 lands. I don't, I don't know if I'd want a Cruelty or a Path. I don't, I don't know. Maybe all of them. Maybe one, actually one of each. There we go. We can get another Golgari Queen over here on the sideboard. Probably don't need three cast down three moment. And three cruelty. Contempt is mostly going to be a better card than cruelty. Mostly. Yeah, we'll keep the path in here. I think, so yeah, like this, I like this this main deck more. This is what I'd recommend here for this main deck. I am, sideboard wise, like the, the two Chupacabra, two Cruelty, three Moments, two Cast Down. I feel like we could be doing some different stuff with all those things. Like that just, that's a whole lot of removal. Um, oh, this, this deck needs four duresses in the sideboard. That's a, that's a card that's even a great hit off of Bolus' Citadel. Yeah, we need, we need these duresses to help protect our stuff also and everything. Yeah, I mean, we just need four of those cards. So maybe take out a moment of cruelty in these troops. Yeah, got to get dresses in there.
Doom Whisper, of course, helps us against the Phoenix, too, if you're worried about Phoenix, because that gives us a big blocker. Um, if you cast a kicker card for Citadel, can you pay the kicker? I don't know. I don't think so, but I honestly don't know. Because I, I think kicker is like an additional cost, and you don't usually get to pay additional costs with alternate costs. I don't think. I'm not sure, though. All right, so that's a lot of changes, but that's what I would recommend here. Um, you know, Vitellius, you've, you've played this, this deck quite a bit. Um, you may not want uh, to change everything there, and that's that's okay. You know, that's... Um, but, yeah. I like how, how this is looking. I do like having all 12 explore creatures. I like that. Is Squire better than this other thing? It probably is. It's probably better than Ixali's Diviner, right? Like it probably is. Having a 1, 2, and 7, 0, oh, 3. Yeah. Diviner's like better against Mono Red. Squire's better against everything else. Yeah. There we go. All right, so that's Golgari Citadel. Update the decklist command. Yeah, okay. Um, cool, yeah. Yeah, test it all out, see how it plays. Yeah, let me know. Keep me updated on there. So I'll, uh, for the YouTube video, I'll post the, the decklist that we played, of course, and then I'll also, uh, under that, post this this decklist because I don't want to just put this decklist because then people will be like, wait, these cards aren't in your deck and, and so on. All right. Um, yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I'll get back to trying this one again um, later on in the week. Uh, you know, if you're watching this on YouTube, let me know in the comments if you want me to try this out again later on in the week with, with all these changes. Uh, all right, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, though, uh, if you, uh, <laughs> I hope you liked the video, and please hit the like button if you did, and uh, subscribing to the channel would be nice as well. But thank you so much for watching, uh, myself and Hawkeye. Uh, play some Golgari Citadel here, and I'll see you for another video.